Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. There we right. go. Right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. No. I <laughs> yeah, good night. I knew, I knew it's good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Going that way. There we go. We're bouncing it back. All right. Good morning. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, he's talking. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. You're watching Common Sense Fishing, guys. Check it out. Heck it's yeah. Common Sense. So smash that subscribe and like. Gotta love fishing. First cast. Look here. Nice. Beautiful little trout here. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead. Get back out there. there. No harm, no foul. Yummy, yummy. I got a burger and some soup about to be in my tummy. <laughs> Let's go eat this. Take a little break. See if we can catch another trout. And then from here, we'll go fishing wherever we can go. So, hope you guys enjoy the little change of pace. Fishing from shore. Just doing what we can. Having fun. Fishing for whatever bites. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, yeah. I knew it. Little bugger. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Just had to be a little patient. So, we're out here catching trout. <laughs> Let's get him off and then we'll see you guys on the next one. trying a cast master now I'm getting tired of waiting for bites on my bait or my drop shot oh I got hammered oh, oh. Shit. how am I missing these is my uh, drags not set I think ripping right off hitting it hard too oh just that one Is this happening I haven't had bites like this in a long time one trout and then not caught them that's crazy damn it I'm getting smacked out here well I just cannot get one to, to like get hooked up this rod is way too stiff I need something more flexible so what I'm thinking is is if I adjust my drag Maybe I can get one of these guys. They're hammering hard. Ooh, nice trout right there. I got a little guy. But uh, there's a really nice one that was with him. So, looks like adjusting the drag and then not setting the hook hard is really what made the difference here. So we're using a cast master right now and they're smacking them. Common sense fishing out here. Thanks for watching. Bass boat will be back soon. We'll be at the delta, we'll be at the lakes. I'm gonna be getting a new fish finder, so we'll take you guys through all that. Show you guys what I'm looking for and what I'm looking at.
Um, I can't afford and don't need live scope. I just need something that's got a good imaging, down imaging and traditional. Um, I don't really need anything fancy, so we'll see how it works. If I can afford something good when it comes time, we'll see. Oh! <laughs> that was way too fun, wasn't it? You guys seen that? Bam! <laughs> this is way too much fun. Let's get them off the hook. Go out and get some more. There we go. Quick release. Nice. And those are the real little ones. I've seen some nice ones swimming around with them. They uh, plant it, so there's a lot of little guys. But let's see if we can find some of the El Grandes. Good old cast masters going to work. I got tired of oh waiting for a uh, waiting for bites on bait, you know. So we're using this here, and we're just having way too much fun. These guys were so bony, I might actually keep a few to eat, but they're just really not worth eating. They got so much bones, I don't want to pick through the bones. But I've been loving this little guy. Let's see, glad I put it on. slow retrieve super light lure They are just about maybe 10, 8 to 10 feet offshore. About right where I'm casting. Not very far, that's for sure. really just been walking back and forth in front of this little strip. As soon as I throw you guys on, they want to stop biting, huh? We can get out of here soon. So let's hope we can get a couple more before the day's over. I've had a monster bass on a little spinner like this one time. Like a six, seven pounder easy. And I got a little excited and overfought it and it popped off ripped right off on me I even managed to fight it for a little while too had it on did a few runs even jumped and still was on but it was when it went and dove really hard and I kind of didn't give it as much wiggle room as I should have and sure enough she popped right off comment section below let me know where would you guys and gals like to see me fish next from shore or what would you guys like to see me fish next for striper bass trout you want to see me go for some catfish let me know in the comments below and we'll get out there we'll go have some fun and what's your favorite fish to fish for i'm sure a lot of you guys it's bass 
But if not, leave a comment. What do you like fishing for? What, what, oh, oh, there's some. Oh, 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 little school of them right there. <laughs> Gotta love it. I just seen a little school of them go by. Oh, there they are. Again, in the comment section below, let me know what's your favorite fish to fish for. And also, where would you like to see me fish next from shore? Waiting on that boat getting fixed. As soon as it's ready, we'll get out there back at the delta and all the usual spots. <clears throat> but for now, stuck on shore. Nothing wrong with that. Fishing is fishing. Don't need a boat to catch fish. Just got to redial yourself in. Fishing from shore is a lot different than fishing from a boat. So you just got to reconfigure how you're fishing and what you're fishing with, all that good stuff. I should have uh, loosened my drag a lot earlier, a lot sooner. I was just getting hammered. I'm talking fish after fish. I would probably have like 10 or 15 easy if I didn't have my drag so tight. So, I think now we've got that drag kind of set where it needs to be. And I know not to yak too hard on the hook set. So, We'll see if we can get some more. See, I may not have a trout rod. That's why sometimes guys swear you have to use, you know, this rod and that reel in order to catch fish. And it may help, but one thing you can do if you're not exactly perfectly dialed in is just turn around and uh, change your settings to try to make it as much like what you need for example if you need a flexible pole and the pole you're fishing with is a little stiff one thing you can do to mitigate that is to set your drag to a lower setting so that your drag kind of we just had a little nip there so your drag makes up for it oh yeah i just had a little love tap maybe they want it a little faster let's try that they're not really committing right now i've been kind of slowing my speed down just a little bit so let's run it a little faster and see what happens. Don't give these fish a time. Oh, nothing that time. Don't give them time to look at it as much. Maybe that'll help. trying we're gonna turn you guys off for a second conserve some battery and uh, we'll put you back on once we get into another biting spree or uh, stumble upon some more fish because they seem to be turning on and off in like pockets they're they're moving around so you're either on them or you're not They're moving around a lot right now. So let's see. Keep you guys on just a little bit longer. One 
one thing you can do as well to try to get your um, spinner out farther or out deeper is you can put a split shot just ahead of it so right now i'm fishing it as is so extremely low weight very light so i'll fish with as many as two split shots sometimes i don't ever use more than that um, if anything you can also buy heavier spinners so Rooster tails, whatever you want to call them. So these ones are all metal. There's no, uh, no like uh, feather to them at all. So it's just a metal spinner. is a ton of fun right. I like getting them cast to catch for you guys so I gotta edit a little bit of this but hey too much fun <laughs> oh that one wow that was a nice set of bass like a three pound largemouth and uh, another two look like two bass were with it like a total of three bass almost we're just sitting there waiting like they knew I was gonna throw that trout back poor trout's probably done <clears throat> another one let's get some more <laughs> hopefully these little trout tips and tricks are helping out This one's a lot better. Ooh, quick release. <laughs> Way too much fun. Bring your kids out here. Throw MEPS spinners. And if they can't cast very far, Throw a couple of split shots on them and have them real, real slow. Not too slow, but slow enough. You don't want to get snagged on the bottom, but it's not about running so fast. The trout are not very far from shore right now, so easy peasy to get them. too much fun doing this so Let's see if we can get some more it's like trout number eight or nine or something maybe I don't know Let's see if we can go for like 10 or 15 before the day's over with the way that this is going probably won't be hard Next time, I'll probably bring a, uh, a little thing and keep a few maybe, try to smoke them, 
see if they're any good I just don't like all the bones too many bones and trout no, I'm not a big catch and eat fisherman anyways I release most of my fish I love bass fishing so and I don't eat those every once in a while I might but nothing wrong if you do the thing is is fisheries do need to have the fish cold if you have a lot of little fish you know in your fishery a lot of little uh, bass <laughs> so another little guy here <laughs> all right let's go get some more Come on, buddy. Like fish number 20. <sighs> I want the bass. Where are the bass? Yeah. Guys and gals, we're going to get ahead and get ready to take off for the day. Oh, just got cracked again. Nice. We'll catch a couple more probably. Maybe round out the number 15, 20 or something like that. And then get out of here. This is just too much fun. I'm sure I could throw something a little different. And probably get some bass. But uh, hey, I'm catching fish. So <laughs> the tug is the drug. So they say, right? Shout out to tug addicts. Anski's tackle box real good dude right there. He'll put you on some bait, you know, give you some finesse baits Usually he sells them. So hit him up on Facebook Anthony Pascal Anski's tackle box Another quality lure maker B. Zhang. I love his jigs Bumblebee jigs and uh, Always shop local if you can right? So try to support the guys and gals in California, Central Valley, all the bait makers here. Toxic Baits is out of the area. Um, got a lot of different cool bait makers here. So I like to support local. So we'll take this few minutes of the video to give a shout out to Tug Addicts Facebook group. My Facebook group is Bass Fishing Lovers, if you'd like to check us out. We've got a little over 13,000 members and uh, growing pretty good. There went one right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll take this to end the day with. That hit hard. Nice. <clears throat> See what I mean? They hit great little guys, but they sure know how to how to give you a nice jolt. Make you feel great. Like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Well, we'll see you guys on the next one. There we go. Right, here we go. Bam. All right. Should we go for one more? <laughs> greedy. You greedy bastard. How many fish you're going to catch before you leave? I'm going to try to catch them all. <laughs> oh, I just love fishing. Goodness, that felt great though. It hit me hard. Boom. <laughs> Another one way too many of these things but you know what I've seen folks I've seen about a three pound largemouth guarding a false bed and it is with two other fish looks like a small spotted bass 
and a larger spotted bass. And sure enough, there were uh, three large, uh, three bass, one, lar one largey and two spots. And they tried to take the spinner from a trout. So <clears throat> I watched the bass come up and try to eat the spinner from the trout. And they're sitting right here and they keep spooking off and coming up, spooking off and coming up. It's exactly like spawn. If I had a drop shot on and I annoyed their area, it looks like their, their territory, I can probably get them to, to bite and catch them. I had one on with the spinner and it got off really quick before I could hit record. So, <clears throat> I'm sure that there's bass deep right now. But I've been seeing a lot of bass right now in three feet of water, three to five feet of water right now. It's nuts.